Viewer discretion is advised. Good morning, my beautiful people of the internet. Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. Before we start, I want to let you know we're currently at the Delta Center, which is a pretty busy intersection, so there might be a lot of noise, so we're just going to have to put up with that. So, yeah, bitch, please deal with it. <laughs> But as you can see, guys, we're back here at the former Chubb and Checkers in Cambridge, Ontario. And there's a reason I said former, not abandoned, because this place is in the process of being transitioned into Church's Chicken. <coughs> which is pretty damn awesome, actually, because this place has laid abandoned for almost six years. So it's really cool to see a new restaurant be put in. Yeah. This place closed back in 2017 after the owner George passed away, which was such a shame because George was such a nice person. He gave me free ice cream on my birthday. I just remember that about him, but he was a really lovely person. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of work is being done. It's gonna be really cool to see what it looks like when it's open though. So yeah, they completely tore up the sidewalk over here, but I think they are reinstalling the natural gas, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I could be. I often am, so... Yeah. But, if you don't know what Chubb and Checkers was, it was just your average 50s diner kind of thing. They served burgers, fries, all-day breakfast, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it was pretty cool. But it had such an awesome aesthetic inside. It was all 50s themed. Yeah. But now, I don't know what they're going for here with design. Yeah, new tiles, it looks like everything. Because last time we were here, it was completely gutted. But yeah. I really wanted to show you this before it got completely transitioned. So yeah, that's why we're here. It was harder than it looked though because there's people here constantly doing work on it and people really don't like people with cameras for some reason. But I'm here on a Saturday morning and they are nowhere to be seen. So your boy's here to do his job. Your boy's here to do his fucking job. And I am happy to be here right now. But yeah, it's almost bittersweet. Like it's sad seeing Chubb and Checkers go like this, but it's also nice to see an abandoned building being repurposed because yeah, she's been laying here rotting for six years and it's just nice to see something being put in here that's not a condo. <laughs> because the KFC over there is proposed to be turned into condos, but this is becoming Church's Chicken, aka the Discount Popeyes. I've never had Church's Chicken. Sorry, bitches, the camera crapped out on me, but yeah, like I was saying, I've never had Church's Chicken before. I hear it sucks though, but when it opens, I'm definitely going to be here to review it, and yeah. When is soon? I want to know a date. Soon is not enough. Soon is not enough. Oh yeah. They put a lot of work into this place. I love how it still says burgers on the window though. That looks kind of creepy though, doesn't it? Just like, let's just step back, see like the complete chaos of this building and just the brightly colored burgers. I don't know why, that just looks slightly creepy. Right here is some original Chubb and Checkers branding though, which is pretty cool. There's some over there too, in a lot better quality actually. So let's go check that out. This is insane. It's sad, but it's exciting, but I don't know. 
it's just a mix of emotions for me. Because before it was Chubb and Checkers, it used to be a Gino's Pizza. So, yeah. And before Gino's Pizza, I think it used to be a donut shop. So this place has been a lot of different places. Breakfast, yeah. They had some good goddamn breakfast here. Me, mom, and dad came here every Sunday morning for breakfast. Every Sunday morning. Yeah, looks like they covered up the drive through window. Yeah. So yeah, I bet you all this was to rehook up all the gas lines and all that kind of shit, but... Been there, dump that. I love that. Your boy's a sucker for a good pun. Can we see what's inside of here? Hmm. Yeah. I'll definitely be here when it opens. But, yeah. I just don't know what to think. It's... It's weird. Like, it's one of the last pieces of my childhood in the city that's being turned into something new. And... Yeah, I guess. My childhood is officially dead. So, rest in spaghetti, never forgetty, Andrew's childhood. And... Yeah, guys. Let's take one more look inside. But look at all this though, all the old Coca-Cola branding. Oh, this place was so cool. Oh, what was this? Homemade burgers, what's that supposed to say? I don't know. But yeah, one more look inside. But yeah, we'll be here when it opens and we'll check her out then. So I guess that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So if you like what you saw, please consider liking and subscribing. If you absolutely fucking hated it, there's a button down there for you too. And like always, my friends, live life to the absolute fullest. And goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers. <laughs>